What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Gamecocks in the Kitchen. I'm Callista Yost. And I'm Casey Lattimore. We're coming to you guys today with some banana bread without nuts. This is about to be so yummy and definitely without nuts. That's gross. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are so excited to get started. First, we have got our bananas. You want them to be a little bit brown like this just so they're easier to mash and they have a little more flavor. So we're just gonna get this into Beautiful our peel. bowl. Oh, I ruined it's it. Okay. And the funny thing is, bananas are not supposed to be open from the point where it's like pointy at. It's actually the bottom. Monkeys open it from the bottom part. It's kind of cool. Well, here we are. But <laughs> Casey great. told me I did it wrong right after <laughs> I did it. Now I feel okay. inadequate. No, 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 you're good. I'm just going to start mashing these now. <laughs> We've got three in our bowl. Okay, everyone, I am adding one stick of melted butter to our banana mixture. And then Casey is going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and two eggs, and we're going to mix that all together. All right. Thank you so much. Do not forget your eggs, people, because definitely me doing that is not going to help. All right. You can throw them in here. Thank you. All right. All right, and then we'll get that mixed. All right, so now we're going to get some flour and sugar going. We're going to do two cups of the flour. Today we have some almond flour. So if you want to go on the healthy side, definitely try that out. It's for my tummy. And we, we love a good thing for Calista's tummy, so love that. <laughs> and then we'll do one cup of sugar. This one cup of, oh, okay. It's okay to make messes, people. Let's see. Never, there's so many different types of flowers now. I've seen a coconut flower at Walmart, and it's kind of fascinating. I like um, pasta with chickpea flour. Very yummy. That sounds kind of good, too. Yeah, mm. it's like extra protein. Okay. Let's put two cups of that. Then we'll do our sugar. One cup. That is a lot of sugar. Yeah, it is. All right. What's our next measurement? Next, we have, we have a teaspoon of baking soda. Ooh, teaspoon. Wow. All right. Very little. <laughs> That's so cute. I know. I can get it in here without spilling. Oh, you can put it in there. Okay. It's deep. Right. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay. I'm going to get it on the side. Literally me making a mess today. We love Barely. that. And then we get a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, everyone. So what we are going to do now is we are going to be spraying our pan. Don't want that banana bread to stick. And then, baker's hack, we are going to put some parchment paper where we just sprayed on the pan. That's going to make it come out nice and easy. Uh, okay, so now, okay. so now we're just gonna put this in there. All right, we're gonna get this going. Here, I'm gonna like put it down, don't pour it on my hand. Okay. Uh oh, it's all good. This banana bread, the parchment paper is probably gonna make it bake in a weird shape, but that's okay. It will have character. Thanks. She will be beautiful. No, all. 
and like just different things about different people and different breads. The differences make it so great. So do that. Even if it makes a little dent in it, it'll taste good anyway. That was really deep. <laughs> this has been in a <laughs> That's passion. That's passion right there. That's passion. That's all it is. It's a little bit of passion. All right. Okay. All right. Now we are going to pop this in the oven at 350. All right. So now we do have our banana bread. Um, it may be a little bit different because of the almond flour, but we can use some other flours as well if you want to make some banana bread. One of my favorite gluten-free flours is the one-to-one -one flour because you can use the same measurements that you would normally use with all-purpose flour. So it's perfect and it's super easy. All right, Let's dig in. It may be a little mushy, but the flavors are all there and that crusty top. Mm-hmm. That's I like a little bit of crunch. The though. crust is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me not take another bite yet. Thank you guys for tuning in to this awesome episode of Gamecocks in the Kitchen. I am Casey Lattimore. And I'm Calista Yost. Be sure to follow us on all our socials at SGTV at USC and to keep up with us on Twitter at SGTV Entertain. Now, we're going to go finish our banana bread, so y'all have a great day.